Hi, it's Sandra, and I got my Manny by Me box, and this is the March box. And I did see this online, so I'm not going to be too surprised of what's in this. But let's look to see what is in this box and go through each item. And as you know, I usually do a manicure at the end, see what I come up with. And remember, if you are interested in this box, it's $25 a month. And um, it includes the two exclusive plates, two stamping polishes, and a free gift. And if you have too many polishes and you say, eh, I really don't want any more polishes, you can always go with the Express Kit, which gives you everything but the polish, the stamping polish. So if you're interested, you need to just go to manialogy.com and order yourself a kit. So I noticed online that Maniology is actually selling other things now. They have t-shirts and apparently they have some tote bags. So um, they have a new apparel line, apparel line. So if you're interested in that, definitely check them out. They do have some cute t-shirts, by the way. Okay, and so let's get to the box. So this month we've got a Queen of Hearts, which is a sheer red polish. And we have Alice, which is a, a blue. So those are the two colors we're going to get. And we're, I'm kind of excited to see the red because I've seen... Some people do some um, manicures with it, and it seems like it's really pretty. So on this other card that you get, it always shows you a manicure, and on the back, it tells you how to do that manicure. So in case you kind of get the box and you really don't know what to do, you have at least one idea. So there you go. So that's the box, the little inserts in the box. And take the time to read it. They usually have some a cute little summary and some things that um, are cool on that postcard. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right. So here are our exclusive plates. Right here. And here's our polishes and our free gift. So let's look at the exclusive plates. So this is MXM 099 and MXM 100. Okay, and we got a little sticker here too. Glowing and growing. Okay, so the theme of this month's box is Alice in Wonderland. So they got some cool Alice in Wonderland plates here. And um, so I'm excited to see this. But I don't think I saw in this the Cheshire Cat, which is my favorite character of Alice in Wonderland. So let's go through this and see what we have. We've got a heart here. We've got diamonds here, like cards. And we've got actually the Ace, King, Queen, Jack um, in cards. We've got a whole bunch of heart stuff. Um, we got a rabbit. we got Alice. we got the Queen of Hearts. So we have some of the characters here. And this is roses, like painting the roses red. And some more of the card symbols. I like the full nail um, um, images. I think those are cool. So there you go. What else? Off with her heads. Oh, and off with her beads, I think it says. My God, off with... No, heads. <laughs> it's definitely heads. Oh my gosh, I can't see anymore. So um, this looks like a big rose bush. And maybe these are the Queen of Hearts. These images are um, very hard for me to see. This says Queen of Hearts and it's a bunch of cards. So that gives you a lot of images to mess around with. Little ones and then the full nail ones. Very cute. I wish there was a Cheshire cat though. Okay, and this one, maybe there is one. Maybe I just didn't see one. This plate. Is 099 and this has a little hat up here, the teacups, roses. Um, there's a Mad Hatter, there's them sitting at a table, uh, here's Alice, here's a bottle of potion, again we've got, um, four full nails, uh, art, and that's pretty, uh, Alice's Adventures, we've got the Mad Hatter again, some flowers here, 
some mushrooms. So there's a whole bunch of stuff on this one too that reminds you of Alice. Let me make sure I got this all the way down. Yep, I got this all the way down. So there's a lot of interesting images in this, in both of these. So let me put these together so you can look at them. Ah, I have to go back up a little bit. All right. So I'm leaving that there while I look at the polishes. See what we have with these polishes. So it looks like we only have one stamping polish and the other is just a regular polish. And it is a sheer polish. So Alright, so we have Alice is the blue one. And then we have this sheer red, and this is called Queen of Hearts. So very pretty. So let's do, let's stamp on this one. And let's do, let's just do a full nail here. Where's the, let's do this one. Oh, no, let's do the, um, no, let's do this one right here. We're going to do that one. All right. There you go. Very pretty. I like the um, the design and I like the blue. The blue is a, I'd say it's a medium blue. It's a cream. So it's very, very opaque. Very pretty. Okay. So that was the only stamping polish we had. And let's do, let's just do this on a nail, shall we? Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, very pretty. And it's very pretty red. I think it goes well with the Queen of Hearts. All right, and then the other thing I need to open is the free gift. It looks like we have a powder. Very pretty, it's a red powder. So, we will look at this, and actually let's put it on, let's, if we cover this, let's just cover this with this. So I need one of my old stampers. We'll see how this looks. up it's very very glittery Let's see if it shows up on here. Very pretty. So that glitter is awesome. Turned out very pretty. And I put the, I had the translucent red underneath it. So that looks very nice. So I'm definitely gonna use that in my design. So very cool box. If you're on the fence for this one, I would say get it. 
because remember all their um, boxes, the um, plates are all exclusive. So if you know a couple months go down the road and you say, oh my goodness, I wish I would have ordered that, then as long as they still have it in stock, you're fine. If they don't, then you're kind of out of luck. So I always say if you're kind of on the fence about it, just order it if you can have the money to do so. All right, so let me um, get myself ready. I have to, um, I'm going to actually take off the nail polish, but I'll probably do this on um, these. And I'll probably just leave this one like it is because it turned out so cute. So I will use this as one of my um, nails and we'll see what we come up with. I'll be back. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to, um, so I do like the blue, but I don't like, I think if I was going to do an Alice, I think the blue would be cool because she was obviously wearing a red dress, but I don't like the blue on the nail. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I think that it would be good. I like the blue. I will use the blue. But I don't want, I don't think I want to use it on this. So I'm going to do the red. And I think what I'll do is a black. And a white. Let's do this maniology. Yeah, this is a sheer polish. So let's do this. This actually came out in one of the boxes. And it was a sheer black. And it is called Lace. Here it is. It's maniology. And it's called Lace, and it's P112. Okay. Then we're going to use a white. And I think on the last one, um, let's do a purple. Let's do a weird. This is Dwarka, and this is by Polish Pickup. And it's Ard as Nails. That's the color of this one. Oh, it's like a blue, so it's going to be a blue. But I'm, other than the white, I'm using all the sheer polishes. So let that dry for a couple minutes. And I already have one that I actually um, reverse painted. It's the roses, the painting the roses red. And I don't know what other, I think I'm going to use this image on the sparkly one. I'm going to do that in black. And then at some point I'll probably use this heart. Um, the, the characters in this are so small. Oh, I wanted to use, that was the other thing I wanted to use, was the clock, the watch. I want to use a stopwatch too. And the characters on this are just so small. Um... 
Let's see if we can do this Alice right here. Mm, let's do her in black. I didn't do a very good job on that one. All right. These edge ones are always a little more difficult to get off. So. This out of the way. Where'd my black go? All right. There she is. And I am going to reverse paint her. So I think her little apron is white, so we're going to do that. Or, you know what, instead of that, let's use a light blue. Let's do a light blue on her apron and then the, the blue that we got with the box. These images are so tiny. All right, that's good. So I'll show you. It's hard to see because it's so tiny, but there she is. Okay. So now we have an Alice on there. And then, so I'm going to give these a second coat. Now that I have those done. By the way, my favorite white white is Essie. I think their their white, it's called Blanc, and their white really covers well. So I just gave everything a second coat. Got to let that dry for a little bit. And I think Alice is actually going to go on the white nail. And... May put some butterflies or something around her. All right, so this one we know is dry because I did that a while and I stamped the glitter on there. So let's do, I want to do on this sparkly one, I want to do this and I want to do it in black. So I can get my black stamping polish. Oh, and I need another stamper.
Okay, get this out of the way. This I actually want to put on this one. Line this up. There's that one. That turned out really pretty. And I think I'm going to put the hearts, or I'm sorry, the roses, painting the roses red. If I want to put them on the black, I think I may put those on the blue. I'll take this blue off. There is the roses. It's hard to see. Let's see if we can get a better, closer look of this. Okay. Get this focused in. So I think that looks good on the blue. Okay. Then we're going to put Alice on the white. I'm going to take that off. Let's put some butterflies or something with her. Or maybe we'll just do we'll do we'll do um let's get some let's get some red stuff. I don't like that. Let's take that off. Let's do this one. This is not turning out good. Let me get my other stamper. Sometimes when I have smaller images, it's harder for me to um, get it on the cube stamper. I have a better image if I use a smaller stamper. Let's see. But much better. Okay, so let's do this.
and put this on Alice. Put it right to the side. And I want to do another one. Okay. Let's see if we've got any words that would be appropriate for her. she is okay so let's move on to what I want to do is these this clocks these clocks and let's see how black would actually look with that or let's let's do a gold let's see what gold looks like or silver might even show up better let's try silver see if it shows up on this yeah not very good so let's try let's try the gold see if that shows up any better Let me see this. So you can you can see it. Um, let's put a few more on there. Let's just do, I'm going to just cover this one in black. Instead of using the translucent black, I'm going to cover it up in black. All right, and then on the red one, we'll let that dry. And then on the red one, what I'd like to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the heart on the red one. And what color are we going to do that one?
Mm. Let's see how this creamy pink looks. Eh, it might be too close in color. Let's see. Let's do the cider one. Now, let's see what this clock looks like in the gold. That shows up much better, so we're going to do that. Put this over here so you can see it. And we're going to do a few more of those. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> Let's put some smudge free top coat on here. Definitely see the clocks better on the solid black than the translucent. And let's get a closer look at these. So this, remember this was the one that I used the, the red from the box and then I even used the powder for this one. This one's really pretty. That powder is very pretty. And then this one I used the red from the box and then I used a light pink stamping um, polish in its maniology love potion b292 and then this one i did the black just the black polish and i did that with the gold let's see if you can see this better Take that all off all right so this one i used the black polish with the gold stamping polish i got smudge right here and then Alice, I just did an on a white nail with some hearts on there. And this was done with the translucent um, blue. And I stamped it in white and I added the red and the green in there. So there you have it. That's uh, what I got out of this box. And I do think it's a very cute box. I think the images are extremely small. The um, characters are so small. I don't know that I would attempt to... Um, reverse paint them. I think Alice, this Alice is probably the biggest one there is. Now, could use the um, the stamper that I got from Lantern and Wren that makes images smaller and larger and make them larger and see how that would look. Let, in fact, let's do that. Let's take the stamper. Let's take a stamper and let's see if we can make these images bigger. 
let's try the rascally rabbit here okay so let's get that stamper out and see what we can do okay so we have the bunny here and we're going to put some polish on here and if you have not ever seen this um this moira stamping um, stamper it makes things the images larger or smaller and we're going and I have a video on it if you want to see how that works and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp this and here's my image and I'm going to make it larger so I pushed it all the way up to the top so I left I started it in the down mode and I put it all the way to the top and now it's bigger than what it was and you can see I messed around so this was the actual original stamp and this is the one that I did on the big the big one so made it bigger so I'm gonna put this one on here kind of next to that one. Oh, he didn't come off let's try that again I talk too much okay so we'll put this down I'm gonna put this down and these are the bunnies and the right size that came off the actual stamp not this one but this one and I mean they're tiny they're just tiny little stamps so let's do this one and we're gonna do it bigger so to make it bigger what you're gonna do is it's gonna be in the down it's gonna be down so it's not pushing the um, latex up we're going to put some stamping polish on it. Scrape them. Put it while the stamper's down. And then we're going to push it up all the way up. And then we're going to put it down on the paper. So there you have it. So this is, you can see this. Here's the original. And here is the bunny as he's enlarged. Now you can see, you know, even though he's enlarged, he's still not very big. I mean, this is tiny. And I think this one may have been making it even smaller. So that would be the biggest we could get it with using this enlarger. But that's still better than this. And that would, uh, I don't know if that would fit on your nail. Probably fit on your thumbnail. But he is a tiny, if you put your thumbnail up there, He'd probably fit on that but these images are very small so anyway that's how you could use your lantern and wren and this should not be coming off like that this comes off if you want to take it off so you can see where you're putting it so you don't have to stamp it on there blind so there you go. So if you want to watch the video on how to use this, you can certainly look on my YouTube channel and find it. And just as a reminder, here are the nails that I, that I did with the kit. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.